Well, good evening, everyone. This is my first video log back in Southeast Asia. I'm back. Under different circumstances this time, in case anyone doesn't know, I'm uh, actually here to teach English. So um, I've got a job with English first. I'm starting, um, I've already started my induction online during my quarantine, induction orientation. Um, I'll get back to that, but it's been quite difficult due to the very bad Wi-Fi connection. So I've struggled quite a lot with Zoom meetings and downloading files and trying to use their interface because it's all online. Um, very nice people, fantastic, really lovely people, very kind, very helpful. Um, so there's that. Um, so it's a bit of a different circumstances, but I am glad to be back and um, glad to be out of this hotel quarantine. Just did my PCR test, so that's all good. Um, I'm just going to show you a document. This is the release document, so uh, I have to show that and I have to show the test there when I get on the aeroplane tomorrow to Surabaya to show that I'm negative. So I, even just to fly domestically around in Indonesia, you need an antigen test, but I'm going to show my PCR test, which is valid up to 48 hours. So behind me, if you look out the window, that's, um, that's the airport, that's Terminal 2. Lion Air planes are taking off in the background and I'm actually flying with them tomorrow morning. So I have to literally walk out the hotel, down, down the stairs and uh, checking in. So that will be really great, a great sense of freedom. Um, just a couple of things to point out. Um, there's no balcony. Um, I've got a bit of a blocked nose from the air conditioning. Um, I, I think the air is not really very good at all um, and uh, it's not good to be in air conditioning like continuously uh, so that's I would say that and the internet there's two things to bear in mind when booking a hotel quarantine I would suggest getting a balcony and trying to be really sure that the internet's good um, what else is there to say? Um, not really much has happened, really. Um, it was really exciting the first day, but after a few days in quarantine, it all sort of, the nights blur into the days. Um, it's hard to sort of get up, I think. It's hard to go to bed because you don't feel tired, but when you wake up and they bring you breakfast at six, and it's like seven hours, it's like I feel like I'm, I'm eating a meal at night and then I feel sleepy and I want to go back to sleep again. So, yeah, it's completely out. The clock's completely out. So that's, that's something to think about. Um, going back to when I arrived in Jakarta, I'll just go through the process quickly. So you get off the plane and you walk down and they have these um, holding points where you sit down and the guy in the army gear says you sit and then you get up then you move to the next chair and then you show your passport you show your visa if it's in the passport my visa is an electronic one so I had to show that on my phone you have to show your PCR test um, you which from before flying I'm trying to remember all this now you have to show your vaccination certificate and you have to show that your hotel has been booked with the QR code. So that's five things you need to be showing. I needed to show anyway. So without the hotel booking, you cannot proceed to the COVID test. And that's a PCR test. That's a throat swab, nasal. And then they t send you off to immigration. Got to immigration. Normally that's quite a hassle in Indonesia. When I've arrived in Bali with endless queues, well, obviously now, there's no one around so there were like two people in front of me I went through he looked at my visa it's fine everything fine no questions um, and then my suitcase was there everything was quite efficient and as soon as I got out to the um, arrivals the uh, the nice man with the taxi the hotel pickup was there I sort of had to give him my passport and then some papers then he had to give it to some official guy that looked like a policeman and then that was then we had to sign something else so I could leave the airport. So that was probably another barrier. Um, oh, and you got customs as well. So I would say about seven checkpoints, seven to eight checkpoints 
from getting off the plane to actually getting out into the open air and um, enjoying that warm tropical air you know wonderful so then I was um, straight to the hotel checking in going through the documents I said what about my PCR test they said yeah you'll receive news of that later so I went so then they brought me up put me in the room and uh, that was it really uh, what else is there to say so it's the excitement of coming up here and then it wears off after about a day of sleeping and then it's hard so I would not recommend anyone really to come and do this unless you're coming long term it's not something you can do for say two or three weeks it's just not worth it it's not worth the hassle um, I've got a job teaching English um, with a year's contract so you know it's worth it for me and I know a lot of people are thinking why am I doing this I'm a musician I know it's it's what's happened you know it's been a year away it's been t two years nearly and this is the way back for me so um, you know there's going to be opportunities to play music I'm sure and uh, let's see how things go but it's better to come back with a stable job work permit all of that so that's where we're at I'm looking forward to seeing Melissa tomorrow um, we haven't seen each other for 18 months so tomorrow will be good I'm gonna have a couple of days um, relaxing and then uh, continuing on with the training on, on Wednesday and it's, it's very nice that the school have said take a couple of days off well it, well it's Chinese New Year as well so the office is closed so that helps as well um, because it's very tiring doing a hotel quarantine and it's not you can't really I thought I'd be relaxed and refreshed but I actually feel tired and worn out and not really functioning you know I think it's just being locked away it's it's not right you know it's it would have been nice if I could have got some exercise and gone for a walk so anyway I won't say any more but I am glad to be here and everything's good so I will uh, I will say good night to everyone uh, thank you very much and good night